Haggai chapter 2, verse 6 to verse 8. For thus saith the Lord of hosts, yet one, it is a little while, and I will shake the heaven and the earth and the sea and the dry land and I will shake all nations and the desire of all nations shall come and I will fill this house with glory saith the Lord of hosts the silver is mine and the gold is mine, saith the Lord of hosts. That gold that belongs to God shall enter your hands. Your own portion of the gold that is with him shall enter your hands. I'd like you to look at verse 7 in the Good News Translation. If you have the good news translation. I will overthrow all the nations and their treasures will be brought here and the temple will be filled with what? This temple will be filled with what? And since you are in the temple, your life will be filled with what? Yes. Say it louder. Yes. It is in the Bible. Yes. Your life will be filled with what? Yes. Your family will be filled with what? Yes. Your business will be filled with what? Yes. Your endeavor will be filled with what? Yes. Somebody shout it again. Don't be afraid of whatever God says to us. Anybody crying that the church is rich should get ready for more tears. <laughs> Anybody angry, frustrated, irritated, agitated, aggravated that church is doing big things, they should get ready. Church has not started. And the members of the church, we haven't started. Shout the loudest, amen. It, the temple will be filled with what? Your life will be filled with what? All right, the temple will be filled with wealth. And you are the temple of the Holy Ghost. You are a temple too. So your life will be filled with what? It is necessary for the shaking of the nations to shake the nations with the gospel. South Asia, Southeast Asia, Indonesia, all the nations of the earth to shake them with the gospel. Massive wealth is necessary. Missionary work. For medic medical missions. For this kind of structures globally to warehouse the harvest of the earth. Massive resources. Can somebody say amen? So I want you to see it. So you can seize it. Take your sin. As an agenda and that is why tonight we shall be praying and trusting God for kingdom abundance subject kingdom abundance it is 
in the agenda of God to fill his temple with wealth and to fill his people with wealth. How do you access it? How come there are many children of God wallowing in wretchedness, in poverty, in empty handedness? What are the requirements to access the abundance of the kingdom? Number one. The God first mentality. The God first. Putting God first. Or shall we together? A heart for God. Passion for God. A man whose heart God has conquered when God is put first in life. Matthew chapter 6 verse 33 But seek ye first the kingdom of God and all these things shall be added unto you. That was the secret of Solomon. Solomon loved the Lord. That was the beginning of the story of his wealth. 1 Kings chapter 3, verse 3. Solomon loved the Lord. The God first mentality. Not the love of money. Not the love of things. Not the love of materials. Love for God. Number two. The understanding of God's will. For John, verse 2. I wish above all things. That you prosper and be in hell as thy soul prosper. Understanding that God owns the universe and He wants to give the control of His resources to His people. Understanding. I'm a millionaire, a millionaire. My father is rich in houses and lands, and I'm his heir. Millionaire, I'm a millionaire. Oh, I am happy, happy, happy. You may not have anything in your pocket, but understand it. In this kingdom, results happen to the depth of understanding. If our understandings are not the same, our results cannot be the same. The reason why you see people experience things to a certain degree is because of differences in understanding. The understanding of his will. I am not meant to be a beggar, a pauper, a struggler. I'm not meant to be. I can't be the poor, the poor child of a rich God. Understand. Your revelations determine your possession. The things that are revealed belong to us. Deuteronomy 29, 29. You study scripture on this issue until there is an explosion in your heart. Like it happened in the heart of God's servant. Hey, I can't be poor. After he saw light from scripture. Number one, the God first mentality. Number two, the understanding of God's will. Number three is the mindset of abundance. Mindset. Mindset.
The understanding will produce the mindset where you think like a person who has plenty. For as he thinketh in his heart, so is he. Proverbs chapter 21 verse 5. It says the thoughts of the diligent tend only to plenteousness. But of everyone that is hasty, all to one, the thoughts of the diligent tend only to plenteousness. When your mind thinks plenty, not poverty. The money, the finances physically may not be there, but your mind is big with big things. Occasionally, our people come around me and say, Excuse me, with trepidation. Excuse me, sir. Excuse me, sir. Um, there, there is a need to buy so and so, uh, some equipment, some this and that and that. Um, and, and the need is authentic. But they are uh, apologizing. Uh, I say, find out how much it is. Is the price one billion? Why are you shaking like that? Even if it is one billion, it is payable. And they will go and uh, it's, not, it's, not, it's not one billion. It's not one billion. When I say is the price one billion, what I mean to say is, is it unbuyable? Or is, is, it, is, it, is it something we shouldn't talk about? How big is it that you are shaking like this? So, we have a, a, a major budget, uh, but um, uh, we're just looking at the, the, the resources and just looking at this and that. I said, no. We don't make plans according to what is in our pocket. We make plans according to what is in his pocket. The sheep and preach from it. And after he changed his orientation from serving self to serving him, then Jesus said, as you have done this now, you, eh? three years house rent paid. Shop rent paid. Trip to Jerusalem. So imagine. All she did was to go for service. Serve God in the field. A man testified the other day how he got a job to supply, I think, vehicles or something. Many, many, many zeros. I don't know if that man is here tonight. And he was on the evangelistic field as well. Before the call met him. God take pleasure. In the prosperity. Of his servant. No matter how wealthy you become. Never be too big to serve. Never imagine that you can arrive at a realm. Where you are too big to serve. I'm looking forward to billionaires in dollars. Standing with the ushers as ushers. Going out into the field, preaching one by one to people. Billionaires cleaning the church as sanctuary keepers. And also on the field, preaching to people, reaching out to the lost and getting people saved. I'm looking forward to people. At the beginning of our church, in sowing and giving, tighten. Number six. Divide guidance and direction. God showing you where to apply. Showing you where your job is. Showing you where your money is. Number seven. The lifestyle of diligence. You are not lazy. You are not weak. You are not lethargic. You are not laid back. Number eight. The lifestyle of gratitude and appreciation. Stop complaining and murmuring all the time. Every time you see a favor, appreciate God. Give him the praise and show him that you are not ungrateful. Number nine. The employment of divine wisdom, investment wisdom, storehouse wisdom, reserve wisdom. A young man um, sent me a message the other day. And he said to me that he's an economist and he studied economics in the university. That what I taught him on financial wisdom, his economics professors never taught him. So myself, I asked him, I said, which day was that message preached? 23rd April, 2014. He said the message, and he said, so I asked him, he should go and pick me the CD. Let me refresh my mind on it. 
Papa Yedeko said, if you ever preached anything and he gave anybody a testimony, you yourself should listen to it. <laughs> you yourself should listen to it. If, 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 if somebody says, uh, this thing gave me a testimony or something, yourself should listen to the message. Am I coming? So, I sent him to get it for me. Anything you are, we have ever preached on financial wisdom, look for it. Go through it. That is the major area where the challenge lies. The employment of divine...